Let's say you're working on a scene where a car crashes. This might include the screeching of the tires, the impact of the crash, and the debris landing on the ground. You can hopefully create a more dynamic and realistic sound. Today, we're gonna to talk about stems in sound mixing and music, what they are and how to use them. If you're not familiar with what stems are, they're essentially individual tracks that make up a complete mix. So instead of just having one audio file, you'll have several separate files that you can manipulate and adjust separately from one another. Now you might be wondering why you'd want to use stems in the first place. Well, there are a few reasons. First, using stems gives you greater control over the audio in your project. You can adjust the volume, the EQ, and other settings for each track individually which can help you make a more polished final product. Additionally, stems make it easier to make changes to your edit later on. If you need to swap out a certain sound effect or adjust the timing of a particular instrument, it's much simpler to do so when you have access to the individual tracks themselves. So let's just say that you're editing a video and you want to add some background music. Instead of dragging a single audio file, you might want to look for a collection of stems. For example, you could search for a pack of drums, bass, guitar and vocals, stems that correspond to a specific song. By bringing in each stem separately, you can control the balance and level of each instrument to get the exact sound that you're hearing for. Another way to use stems is when you're mixing sound effects. Let's say you're working on a scene where a car crashes. Instead of just using a single audio file for the crash, you could use a pack of car impact stems. This might include separate sounds of the car engine, the screeching of the tires, the impact of the crash, and the debris landing on the ground. By bringing in and fine tuning each stem individually, you can hopefully create a more dynamic and realistic sound effect. Of course, not all music and sound effects are in stems, but it's always worth checking to see if you can get your hands on them. Some music libraries and sound effect websites offer stems as an option, or you could try contacting the artist or sound designer directly. One music library that I personally use is Epidemic Sound. Outside of music and soundtracks, stems are also used. For example, on a TV show that is being distributed to multiple countries and where dialogue needs to be dubbed, exporting out your audio in separate stems can help with the dubbing process by removing the, for example, English speaking dialogue whilst retaining all of the other sounds, the sound effects, the foley, the music in the final cut. So there you have it. Stems are a really powerful tool for video editors and can help you create more polished and dynamic audio for your projects. Give them a try and and see what kind of creative possibilities you can unlock. Hello everybody, how's it going? If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a like. It really does help to beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all of the content being released on this channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.